Hi guys, welcome back to Arcade Odontics, the channel where we all learn together. Today's case, a low right seven. So we're going to be discussing about this one here. Very, very big carious lesion in uh, on the distal aspect of the tooth. We managed to restore that. Patient uh, comes in on the first appointment. We do the restorability assessment where we kind of assess uh, whether the tooth can be restored or it needs further crown lengthening or even... Uh, in the worst cases that the tooth cannot be restored and needs to be uh, taken out if the, the extent of the caries lesion is uh, more than we thought it is going to be. Uh, for example, if it is affecting a root, for example. Um, also, we kind of get a feel how a patient is reacting to treatment because uh, you need to remember you're working with people, not just teeth. So a first appointment needs to be uh, a bit easier for the patient and uh, a bit more um, sort of uh, familiar to the patient. So a feeling is always more familiar to a patient. Um, let me just go a little bit further back here. So it looks like a single rooted tooth, uh, two canals. Uh, yeah, we're gonna discuss more about the anatomy. So a patient came back, second appointment, we've done the pre endo buildup. What I usually do on the Restorability assessment. I managed to get that feeling, uh, um, <clears throat> that feeling done. I, I will usually access the pulp chamber. Will find my canals. Uh, I won't enlarge the orifices, but I will look for more canals just to see more or less with what I'm working, uh, what I'm working with. Um, and then I'll place leather mix on the pulp chamber. I'll place on top of that PTFE tape or a cotton ball and then a temporary filling. I'll do that so next time it's easier for me to access that. Like you see here, I'm going with my ultrasonics, the temporary filling just pops out very, very easily. I remove the cotton ball and then there is my prepared access cavity. In this case, like I said, two canals. I'm going to go and measure my working length. I haven't included all the steps in this video just so I don't make it boring. Uh, find my working length and then I will use my Pro Taper Gold sequence just to enlarge these canals. Mm -hmm. I will go SX, S1, S2, and now I'm showing you my last instrument, which is the F1. I will show you that I go to length. And uh, yeah, three, two, three strokes, and it gets me to length. Same on the other canal. Following that, we're going to do our apical gauging, making sure that um, this is the desired uh, finishing instrument. A lot of hypochlorite. I'm using 3% hypochlorite. As you can see here, we got two canals. We got the mesial, the distal. Um, yeah, pretty nice anatomy. And as you will see later on, uh, on the x-ray on the confit, uh, it is a very, very interesting anatomy. So I'm going for my confit, just to double check, make sure my working length is okay, that I don't need to make any more adjustments. I'm gonna take the x-ray, and in this case, I had to just kind of take one millimeter off of that mesial uh, GP. But everything else looks okay. Very interesting anatomy, like I said, look at that. The canals are just going around themselves. Um, it's always nice to see, it's just pleasing to the eye and also on the x-ray at the end. Then I'm doing my uh, activation of my irrigants. I'm using uh, sonic activation in this case just because ultrasonic activation in curved canals like this won't go to the desired length. So I'm using my sonic activation. In this case, I'm using the um, endo activator, which I really, really enjoy. Um, drying my canals. Also, final irrigation sequence for myself. It includes 3% um, sodium hypochlorite, sodium hypochlorite, yeah, and also uh, EDTA, 70%. So, yeah, after that, I dry the canals and I am using uh, the AH Plus Bioceramic Sealer, which I really, really enjoy. Usually, I do use it as a um, as part of my um, continuous wave compaction technique, which I really enjoy. And I think uh, for me, it's the optimal technique because 
just helps me seal all these uh, lateral canals and all that extra anatomy. But in this case, I'm doing single cone, which you can do with a bioceramic sealer. Because um, remember, uh, with a bioceramic sealer, the cones help carry that sealer um, into the canal system rather than the other way around. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing slightly up and down motion just to make sure that I don't have any bubbles um, trapped in the canals and that uh, my sealer goes into that uh, extra anatomy if there is any. So I'm just suing my GP at the orifice level and then I'm compacting, make sure that it's uh, compact, nice and safe. And then the nice thing with bioceramic sealers, you can just wash that off and everything just goes away with resin based. It's a bit of a nightmare, but yeah, one more thing that I enjoy about uh, the AH Plus by Ceramic Select. Okay, looks very nice. And then the post op, everything looks nice. We've sealed all the way till the end. Everything looks good. Our pre endo build up looks good. Patient will come back for a crown. I'm really happy with what I see. Patient's happy. Everything went great. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, just like comment, subscribe, and I will be seeing you again with another case next time. Bye.